porque el Señor nos ha dado el poder y la autoridad para legislar con toda autoridad por esta región que Él ha entregado en nuestras manos. En el nombre de Jesús, el Concilio Regional de Profetas se reúne en el nombre de Jesús porque tenemos, hemos, somos lo que hemos sido llamados, tú, yo y cada uno de nosotros, aleluya, para decretar y legislar con toda autoridad las leyes y los principios del cielo de nuestro Padre Celestial, declarando en el nombre de Jesús, aleluya, que las estructuras de maldad se rompen y el reino de los cielos se establece, aleluya, y el Señor pone de autoridad a quien Él ha levantado y quien tiene temor, aleluya, de Dios en su corazón. Oh, bendito Dios, el Señor ha decretado, aleluya, que la autoridad ha sido dada para ti, para ti sobre tus hombros, en el nombre de Jesús.
Open up.
de Florida. And I heard him say that this is a night of shifts. Esta es una noche de cambios. And one of the shifts y uno de los cambios is for this gathering, this company of prophets that is gathered here tonight. Es para que esta compañía de profetas to recognize que reconozcamos that the Lord Almighty God que el Dios Todopoderoso has called you te ha llamado to release not only for your region para decretar no solamente para tu región but for a part of the body para el cuerpo body para el cuerpo de geographical locations no solamente only. para la región gráfica de aquí de nosotros amén amén Victims. Eh, victimas. 
a position a position todos nosotros or all of us without Jesus we're victims until we met with Christ especially the Native Americans and the Jews I went to see Nigel Big Pond in Oklahoma and when I slept on his reservation in the night time I heard clang, clang, clang and I asked Mr. Nigel Big Pond what was it that I heard in my sleep and he said to me justice will be done what you heard only those who are walking in the apostolic presence can hear you heard a fresh revelation when the transcontinental railroad It pushed all the Native Americans off their reservations. And on the trail of tears. My wife and I, when we had our church, we had many Jews from the synagogues in our church. We worshiped the Lord together and we took up offerings y to build shelters in Israel para, uh, um, a, uh, para los allá en Israel. what I am saying Lo que estoy diciendo, is that the, the Native Americans have been pushed off their land for thousands of years the Jews have been pushed off of their land for thousands of years we were all victims of the enemy but that is changing because of Jesus Christ and his mercy and his love the second word in Judges 21-19 that prophesied to me was there was a highway east of North Bethel this highway is a supernatural highway this is a highway that you cannot see in the natural it's a superstructure from the Lord the Bible says in Isaiah the 19th chapter that this highway will pass through Egypt, Assyria and end up in Israel this is going to lead to the millennium when Jesus returns the Bible says that in Egypt there is an altar in the middle of the land and pillars at its borders in Egypt there is an altar in the middle of the land and pillars at its borders everywhere Jesus is lifted up every county, every city, every state, every nation there is an altar in the middle of that land and there's pillars at the borders do you know why? the pillars at the borders are to support the superstructure of the highway 
just a couple of things for a couple of seconds. We humble ourselves and pray. Adestus no martes, kashin abanto, sublene de nimata. We want your heart, God, tonight for prayer. We want the mind of the Spirit. We want the wisdom of God as we come together to hear the voice of God, to hear from your prophets, God. Let the prophets speak strong and giving us territorial direction and direction in the nations, God, exposing the powers of the enemy. God, that we hear your will and your plan, and we know how to build in the realm of the Spirit. Well, God bless you all. Thank you for uh, coming out. I'm glad to finally make it here, and uh, my keys were lost, and my car key magically disappeared. So praise God, we got here, got a ride, and I just want to tap into, how many of you are, are here to pray? Hallelujah. Are we going to have any translation, or are we good? I'm sorry, I just jumped I was enjoying myself. <laughs> uh, amen. How many of you are, are, are here to pray? This is where we labor. Somebody say labor. Trabaja. Trabaja, right? Work. Trabaja. Trabaja. We're here to labor and, and work. Labor and work. Um, in the spirit of God. And uh, modern day churches La moderna, are always being entertained or ministered to. But the kingdom of God is when we come together and labor. Somebody say prayer is labor. Sometimes you, you, you sweat. A veces sudas. Sometimes you cry. A veces lloras. Sometimes you shout. A veces gritas. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you pray strong. A veces adoras de manera fuerte. Sometimes you pray soft. A veces alabas de manera suave. Amen. Amen. To accomplish God's will. Para, uh, uh, hacer la voluntad de Dios. 